So this just looks like a playground, right? but it's much more. It's actually a solution to a problem that puts homes in the neighborhood at risk. Our Climate Watch investigator Tara Molina shows us how the Space to Grow program is already making a big difference. You're getting a bird's eye view of this project, but so much of it is happening under the surface. When it rains in Chicago, this playground alone can capture more than 300,000 gallons of that water. Water that this keeps off of the streets and out of the homes in this West Pullman neighborhood. This space outside Ronald Brown Academy, it's so much more than a playground. Green spaces are really a respite and a cooler space for the community from the, to kind of shield them from the impacts of climate change as our world gets warmer. That's Jessica Fong with Open Lands, a conservation nonprofit organization, and Jennifer Tani with Healthy Schools Campaign, another nonprofit. We bring more nature to the communities. We bring a beautiful playground and we're managing the, the flooding that will hit um, communities with less green space. They're partnering with Chicago Public Schools, the Metropolitan Water Reclamation District and City of Chicago departments to make the Space to Grow program possible. Here are the before pictures of this project, asphalt transformed into green space. Health equity and climate resilience, the major focus here. We've told you our changing climate affects parts of Chicago differently. We really select schools um, that are in areas of high need that have been under resourced for a really long time. Oftentimes on our city's south and west sides, th their communities are first impacted by the impacts of climate change and least equipped to, to respond to it. Lindy Wordlaw leads climate and environmental justice initiatives with the city's Department of Environment. How can we get water out of basements. Um, of course, it's, it, it involves improving the system itself, but there are natural ways to capture water. 36 space to grow playgrounds across the city, all with underground chamber systems acting as sponges, gradually releasing water into the ground, capture up to 7 million gallons of water every time it rains here. Here at Ronald Brown, they love it. Charles Mayfield, Chief Operating Officer for Chicago Public Schools, tells me this space is for the entire community. What we're trying to do here with Space to Grow is create a better environment for our students. In more ways than one. With playgrounds making the difference. The official ribbon cutting happens here on Monday, and I'm told they're working on five more playgrounds like this one over the summer, and they'll be ready next school year. Reporting in the West Pullman neighborhood, I'm Tara Molina, CBS News Chicago Investigators. And Tara put more information on Space to Grow and the partnerships making it happen and the story you'll find on our website right now. What a great story yes. on so many levels. Oh, it's yes. wonderful for the kids, obviously, yeah. but that technology is incredible. It is to capture the water and yeah. the kids get to play on top. Great stuff.